quick, which state is this? Easy one, right? Louisiana has a unique shape, but nearly every map you've seen of the Pelican State is a lie. Louisiana isn't that shape. It is this shape. This is what the state really looks like. Decades of sea level rise and sinking soil have literally wiped huge chunks right off the map. Over the past 80 years, Louisiana has lost 2,000 square miles of land. How much is lost every day? Uh, well, the, the, the stat we're using now is a football field every 100 minutes. It's interesting, if you look at a map of Louisiana, it's completely different shape. Absolutely, the maps have not been updated. Saving Louisiana will cost billions, and in a cruel irony, Everybody up. this deadly oil disaster, the one that became a blockbuster film, could help fix this disappearing state. From one of the four seats in this Piper Comanche, you can actually see the state washing away. Why is there one color and then another color? So that's that Mississippi the... River water mixing with the Gulf. Wow! Centuries ago, nature built southern Louisiana using mud that flows down from states as far away as Minnesota. But times have changed. The National Wildlife Federation's David Muth showed us how the river is now heavily levied for flood safety. But that means much of the land building mud just flows out into the Gulf. Yeah, so you see the oil and, and gas production platforms out there? Oh, sure. So that's a little oil field. Oil pipeline canals divert the mud as well. Wednesday, the focus of the oil disaster. It's was been nearly a decade since the BP Transocean Deepwater Horizon well gushed more than 100 million gallons of crude oil into the Gulf of Mexico for 87 days. 11 men were killed when the platform exploded. Fast forward past years of environmental cleanup, legal battles and settlements with several states and individuals, and Louisiana finds itself with a massive amount of restoration cash, at least $8.7 billion for this state alone, where Billy Nungesser is lieutenant governor. This is a lot of money that came from the BP settlement, billions of dollars. God help us if we waste it. God help us. We'll never get this chance again. One plan is coming together here at Louisiana State University, where these engineers want to build what amounts to a pair of $2 billion holes in the banks of the Mississippi here and here to let mud flow out and build new land. And to test their theory, they have built this working water flowing scale model of the river. Water and sediment will flow down that channel. Natural deltas will be built. Land building will happen out in this area here. It is all gonna happen right here. So basically, you can turn it on when there's a lot of mud in the river, right. but then turn it off when it's just going to pour water into this area. That's correct. Back on soggy ground, the plan isn't going over very well with the fishermen we talked to. Cutting holes in the river and dumping fresh water into this saltwater estuary or brackish water estuary is not going to build land. Oysterman Robert Campo knows the land is washing away. Nobody questions that fact. The issue is how to spend the money to restore one of the best fishing spots on Earth. The way he sees it, river water will make this place not salty enough for these brown shrimp to survive. Captain Campo would rather see the state essentially vacuum the riverbed and dump out land where it's needed, something known as a dredge, and they've done it before to rebuild these barrier islands. But it's not a self-sustaining process like diverting the river to build new deltas. My belief is that diversion won't build enough land. And let's say I'm wrong and it builds a couple feet of land in the next five years. And then we have a hurricane and it washes it out to sea. This is a map of places you may never hear of again. Places like English Bay, Louisiana, Point Fortuna, Louisiana, Grace Point, Louisiana, Locust Pond and Raccoon Island, a total of 35 locations that have been, quite literally, wiped off the map. And they're gone now because it's just one big body of water. There's no there there. There is no there there. Yeah. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA, had no choice but to remove these sunken lands. Because of climate change, sea level is rising more rapidly. So trying to get back what we lost is a losing battle.